Did you know that you could migrate for almost 40% cheaper than usual? Well, me neither, but apparently there is a way and today we will talk about it. Let's go. As you guys can see at top left, my current power is 72.5 million. And if we Google the passport cost for that much power, between 70 to 75 million power, the total passport cost is 45. And unfortunately, that is a lot. If we go to bundles, super value bundle, and there it is, new world, for five bucks, you get one passport page. For 10 bucks, you get two passport pages. So you're basically spending five bucks for each passport page. But the problem with this bundle is, usually when you pay more, the value should be better, right? And the whole purpose of this bundle is passport pages. But unfortunately, if you go past over $10, the cost per passport page increases. When you go beyond $10, then you need to start spending more than $5 per passport page. And if you go for the absolute best value, which is $5 per page, you should purchase the $5 one and the $10 one, and that's it. Call it a day and stop buying those two next month and after that again and again and again so that you can save three password pages from this bundle every single month if you want the absolute best value. But of course, there is also a free-to-play way that you can purchase passport, which is with alliance coins and i do have a lot of coins but since i'm not in an alliance right now and let's see if there are any alliances that doesn't require application oh wait this one if i click join and boom i have 24.5 million alliance coins and with those coins you can purchase if it is in the shop you can purchase passport pages and 45 pages the Alliance coins cost of 45 pages is 27 million. But since I already have some amount of passport pages, as you can see, I already have 28. I can actually purchase pages with coins and then migrate to any kingdom I want. But instead of spending 45 passport pages with this thing, we can actually migrate for only 28 passports instead of 45. It is called team immigration. I triggered this whole thing just by not logging in for 30 days. If for some reason you cannot save up enough Alliance coins, and if you are a full F2P, which means you cannot purchase this New World bundle, even with the best value, which is, as I said, step number one and step two, $5 and $10. I don't want to say this is a viable option, but at least now you know that there is this possibility. If you don't log in to Rise of Kingdoms for at least 30 days, you will trigger this whole thing I'm not sure how many days it requires. I didn't log in for 30 days only just to test what happens when you don't log in. And boom, I have now team immigration. If we take a look at the rules of team immigration, let's see. Team immigration is only open to returning governors. As you can see, this is how we trigger it. To help you migrate to kingdoms in the off season, the number of passport pages needed to immigrate will be reduced. I think almost 30%, like 37% decrease is pretty substantial you can only activate the team immigration feature for one character on your account so you cannot do this for your farm accounts it is one character per account after successfully immigrating through team immigration you will need to wait some time before using team immigration again but this will not affect the cooldown time for other types of immigration number three you can create or join an immigration team only the team captain can select which kingdom to migrate to and send out applications. After the kingdom's king approves your application, all members of your team will be eligible to immigrate there and to facilitate immigration team creation slash recruitment, we added new a team immigration chat channel, which is great. Now, here's the key thing. There is no minimum member requirement for a team. You can create a one-person team if you wish. We recommend contacting the king of your target kingdom in advance via mail only kingdoms in the off season are open to team immigration incomplete returning players quests and unclaimed returning player rewards will carry over to the new kingdom so this thing will be active even in your new kingdom and last but certainly not least if you migrate via this event you will appear in a random province within the target kingdom you cannot choose a specific province to immigrate to I think this thing is amazing. Right now, I have exactly 28 passports, which is great. This means I don't have to spend my alliance credits or I don't have to spend my money, basically, to buy passport pages. 
And now, we will actually migrate to a new kingdom. I've been waiting for this for a while, but I finally decided I will make a dedicated video why I, I mean, how I choose my final kingdom, my new kingdom, I should say. But now, let's try to migrate with team immigration because you can do solo migration with this one. Now, we are not going to join to any team. We will create a team and target kingdom is going to be 2884. As I said, I will make a dedicated video. Why? But first, let me select this thing. Boom. And my team, I will, instead of anyone can join, I will just change it to application needed and power. Let's do it 80 million. And team name, Spartan2884. Boom. That is the target kingdom, right? I have to make sure that that is the target kingdom. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to, uh, yeah, 2884. Okay, no other members to show, apply, and boom, immigration application sent. Now, as you can see, it says approved. This means my application is approved by the king of 2884. Now, all I need to do is click on this, 2884, boom, it is approved. Now, I can immigrate, and boom, only for 28 passports immigrate there it is we are in our new kingdom now it's time to join our new alliance and grind rise of kingdoms harder than ever and put more content more than ever hope this cheeky way to migrate for for a lot cheaper helps some of you guys i see you on the next one and here is another video for more value in rise of kingdoms make sure to tap on it i see you on that one goodbye